this to Rashad. We ain't here for this together. <laughs> And so, feel the resonance of who you are as a co-creator of this now moment. You might see this now moment as having some magnificence, and it does have magnificence, and it is also by virtue of your co-creative hand in it. Every single one of us here is co-creating the reality of this now moment. So there's a power in this now moment. There's a wisdom in this now moment. There's exalted resonance of ascension in this now moment. So I want you to, by deliberate intention, send forth the frequency of this now moment to any of your trials and any of your tribulations, any of your difficulties, because you are infinitely more than your difficulties. You are infinitely more than your mistakes. You are infinitely more than your fears. And this now moment is a moment of eternal remembrance. We want to remember with the remembering power of the Most High. Because we are that. Qualitative extensions of Creator Almighty, the Most High. Anything to be known in the whole vastness of the beingness of the Most High is microcosmically contained within each and every one of us. So again, own this thing called you, no more renting with option to buy. You know, many of us have been renting with option to buy relative to the beingness that we are, but it's time to own this thing called you. And then remembering to keep your heart big and wide and open with love for all your brethren and sister in you know, every being that you encounter is an extension of your own self. See, we are weak when we walk around and feel a sense of separation. Like, I'm this individualization of being. You're over there, I'm over here. But we are qualitatively all that the whole of the universe is. See, within your being is the microcosmic container. See, you have you have a cell for every man, woman, and child, for every angel and ascended master, for every ancestor, for every ocean, mountain, and stream, for every mineral, plant, and animal, for every elemental star and galaxy. Because you are the master soul who is the microcosmic container of the macrocosmic all that is. Your soul in the body of the universe. And the universe is a multifaceted cell in the body of your soul. So remember that. And feel the resonance of sending a counterpart of this moment to every other being. Any being that is in a state of turmoil and trouble. Rather than seeing them in a state of trouble and turmoil, let's see the exaltation of their being. Let's look larger. Even if they can't see that for themselves, let's see that exaltation for them. And if we're looking larger, we're feeling better because we are focusing on that which is elevated and ascended rather than that which is lowly. They may choose to stay low for a while, but even if they do, we're going to make this deposit in their soul bank. It's going to accumulate interest until they come into the readiness to withdraw that which we deposited there for them. And some of us have a thing about, oh, people just don't get where I'm coming from. They don't hear me. Don't ever stop speaking your truth because you feel somebody didn't hear you. See, because communications are not just exclusive. 
they're all inclusive. So even though there's an exclusive relationship of our sharing here and reasoning together, and yet this information is passing through all of us into the all that is. And the whole universe is at receivership of this. So when you share your truth with somebody, they didn't get it. Don't worry about it because you're communing with the whole of the universe. That person may not be ready. But it may be a million other beings in the whole of the universe is ripe and ready for that same message in that now moment, quickened and blessed by virtue of your sharing. And then you receive the returning current of the blessing that comes back to you as a result of what you share. So never hold back in the sharing of your truth because your business is not how it lands for them. Your business is to share that truth. So you want to do that. So I appreciate you receiving this. Um, uh, thanks. I want you to thank your sister queen here. She brought me over here. I didn't know anything about this. Wow. Say, what you up to? Because I shared my didgeridoo. I'm going to do some of that too. You know the didgeridoo? Who knows the didgeridoo? Anybody know that yeah. instrument? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to bring that instrument out in a minute and, and, yeah. and play some sound healing frequencies. Yeah. But I want to thank the to Rashad yeah. Queen here for this together. Yeah. bringing me over to Jordan because she said, what you up to? So when you walk, come on over here with me. And when you walked up, that's why when you walked up, I was like, I felt your frequency. I'm like, how you feeling? Feeling you, I'm like, oh, it's a blessing to be in the presence of my real elders. I said, go ahead and let us have some truth, man. And then you know, for you to to go into that into that mode, that's what we that's what we need. You know, that's what because that's what we do here. We the, we the young guys who's trying to, you know, we respect our elders. And we respect our elders. Yeah, definitely. Like we respect them. It's beautiful. We need it. So so when you when you see this frequency, this elder frequency. Frequency, what you want to do is make sure you're owning it and personalizing it. No matter who your heroes and sheroes are, you admire, yes, but from oneness. Mm -hmm. Not like, oh my God, look at how well they're doing, but mm -hmm. but look at how amazing I'm doing through that part of me. Yeah. 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 See, now you're in ownership of the thing. So any exalted being that you ever bear witness to, recognize that as your own self by extension. You know, that's a really, really important thing. Sure. See, and then it's like, like you know, like one car jump starts another yeah, when the yeah. battery's going down. Yeah. So here we're, we're linking up the telepathic battery cable. So if you see something about me that you admire, imagine that there's telepathic battery cables extending from your heart mind and plugging into my heart mind. And we initiate the soul jump start. Okay. See, that's where I get my power from. I feel who I am as the whole of the universe. I define my being as the universe. Then this body and this individual being is the meeting place for the universe that I really am. As your body and your individual soul, individual soul is the meeting place for the whole universe that you are. So we're here to celebrate the resonance of the universe and celebrate the resonance of oneness. See, there's only one life. And all these things I'm sharing with you from my book, Miraculous Song of Ascension. And also you're getting some great footage. I want to make sure y'all send me some of this stuff. I need, I need all of that. So just, I will plant that seed right now and make that agreement. Yeah. You on social media? Piece, yeah, huh? You on social media? Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, Star is Miraculous. Okay, uh, but anyway, this piece here is, is uh, um, the vibration of love. Uh, there's only one life. See, I call it one being. There's only one life in which we all share and only one love through which we all care only one being in all that we're seeing a slumbering giant is what we are freeing so when one is at peace what a mighty release of breath unto life that all may increase. Anyone's joy is everyone's right. And the wise one's wisdom is the blind one's sight. Yes, there is only me in all that I see. The joining of life is what makes me free. And those who achieve and abundance receive is that part of me in whom I believe. So when I am a winner, I honor all life. And when I am a loser, all life shares my strife. But before life on this earth 
and my physical birth, I danced with the ancestors and the angels and knew my true worth. Yet all that I was, I really still am, the God out of heaven, an innocent lamb. If I want to know who I truly be, seek all that there is, and I will find me. So I want to just open up for some interaction here. You know, there may be something you that's on your heart, something you're dealing with, you know, something that needs to be brought to the sacred table here to call for some frequency for your upliftment. Is there anybody that to have a, a thing you want to bring forward or a question you want to ask or something of that nature? Or anybody, comment you want to make? Uh, well, I'm going I'm to say something. Then. I got an addiction with cigarettes. Though. Say it loud so they can hear you too. I got an addiction with cigarettes. Okay. I've I really been trying my best to, you know, quit smoking. But it's but it been hard and I've kind of been backsliding. Okay. So I, I just ask for energy, you know, okay. to help me continue to be better on with my journey. I ain't going to say that I quit, but I'm doing better than I was oh, yesterday. Okay. Don't shock so, wait, what's your name, Brother King? Derek White. Derek. 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 Okay, yes, got you. So Derek, the first step beyond any addiction is to don't judge the judgment of it. Don't judge your judgment. Don't hate your hatred. Don't hurt don't uh, fear your fear. Don't hurt more than your pain. So you got to stop judging yourself first off, even before you've completely uh, conquered the addiction. See, one of the things that creates a, a sense of being bound to an addiction is beating up on yourself about the addiction. Now, I know it's difficult because sometimes you get really pissed with yourself when you're doing a thing that's self-damaging. But you want to look at, okay, well, how does the Most High feel about my addiction? Well, the Most High is not pissed with you about it. The Most High is nothing but over the moon in gratitude for the individualization of your being because you bring something to the Most High as a gift that the Most High can only get from you. So if the Most High is not pissed with you about the addiction, who are you to be pissed with you about the addiction? So that's the first step. You know, taking yourself in your own embrace and honoring yourself and saying that in due season, I, I will conquer this thing. But you got to conquer it with the conquering power of the most high. I say. See, you, so you say, I am achieving victory over this addiction by the achieving victorious go. power of creator source. You got to let go of the fact that you by yourself has got to conquer the addiction. It's you, the universe, portaling through the individualization of your being that's going to conquer. And, I, and, and as we speak this, I want all you, beloved, to hold the vision. I want you to see the vision that Derek is overcoming this thing. And also, at peace with himself while he's overcome. Let's hold that vibration for him. And thank you for being first. I know a lot of people have stuff on their mind that didn't come forward, but you came forward. I love you, and I thank you for that. So each and every one of us are holding that vision of your wholeness. You know, and whenever you, I, I think you've been beating up on yourself a little bit about this, you know. And, and so when you're beating on yourself, it's inner child abuse. Because what takes the brunt of the beating is your inner child, baby Derek. Now, what, what would it be like to draw back and punch a little one-year-old in the face? wouldn't want to do it and unconsciously you've been doing that every time you beat up on yourself you're beating up on your inner child so next time you get ready to light in on yourself criticize and put you down i want you to see the image of a little one-year-old you and ask yourself do i really want to draw back and punch this little one-year-old me in the face and then imagine that you're taking little baby Derek in your arms and rock him like a baby and letting him know you're going to conquer this thing. And not only are you going to conquer it, see, every time is now, every space is here and everyone is you. So in truth, in due course of eternity, you've already conquered this thing. But you got to think beyond the linear trap of this now moment. This is what we call prememorating the, the, you know, the victory of the future. See, be, be where you're going before you get there. That's what I'm talking about. See, in this victory over that addiction, be where you're going before you get there. 
we can do that. See? And you prememorate the victory of the future. See? And you, you summon the, the prememoration of the victorious future into the now memoration of this now moment. And then even the victory of your past, you commemorate the exalted victory of your past and bring that into the now memoration. And it's the harmonic convergence. You can feel that. So here's what I'm feeling because you brought this forward. You just stay right where you are. I'm getting my didgeridoo. I don't want to play my didgeridoo into your heart. Is that all right, brother? Okay. So no, nobody go nowhere. I'm parked right there. I'm going to grab my instrument. No, we, right, we, right, we ain't going nowhere. I'll be right back. We ain't going to leave. Hey, look. We love our elders. We, we, we want to hear what our elders have to say. Ancestors working through you right now. You ain't saying nothing more than you heard, God. Me? <laughs> <laughs> you pulled out the play, God. You know, man. Oh, my bad, my bad. Yeah, I'm sorry. God has stepped all over you. Oh, I, you know, I, I ain't got to do something. Y'all got it on, God. I ain't phony kick with you. Know, you get somebody Sunday, like, I'm weird, then they don't never wear it. Right, right. Pull up. He's like, okay, y'all got it on. And you know, come on, come on. What, you know, he made this? Yeah, he made that. You know, you know, when I when I take a picture with it, I told God I'm gonna take a photo shoot with it. I'm gonna have to tag you. You know they're gonna be, man, who That's made that for you? Yeah. You already know that. Oh, God. Got you. That's who made it, God. He just yes. asked me, he trying to get one. Look. Yes. And look, it was crazy. I had to adjust to the weight of it first, though. When you first yes. gave it to me last yes. night, I had on. My name is Rashad Jamal. Basically, what I do is I take it. My name is Rashad Jamal.